In this video, we're going to go from this to this. Okay, so I'll be replacing the uh, stock rear brakes with power stop cross drilled slotted rotors and performance pads. And in the process, I will also be replacing the emergency brake hardware. So let's start with the emergency brake hardware. Unboxing it. Ooh. Okay, so the brake hardware kit I purchased from Rock Auto. And should require have everything in here that I need for the emergency brakes. Uh, there's the brake shoes. And the kit, the hardware kit. So should have everything I need there. Alright, so next should be the uh, power stops. So I've already created a video for the front brakes. Here. Just like the front, it came with uh, new boots for the pins, new slides for the calipers, and there's the brake pads. And of course the brake grease. So no need to buy any of that stuff additionally if you buy the kit like I did here. And next, the good stuff. There we go. And there's the rear brake rotors, uh, cross drill, slotted and cross drill. And just like the fronts were, uh, these have a specific side. And you can see right here it says rear passenger side. Okay, so first thing to do, of course, is uh, park the truck, chalk the front wheels. Do not set the emergency brake and put it up on jack stands. Okay, so next I'll take off the oop, driver's side wheel. So the lug nuts are 19 millimeters. Okay, so next we'll remove the caliper bolts, one here, one here, and they're 10 millimeter. down with some penetrant oil. Hopefully that'll help it come off. Okay, now there's a couple things that can hold the rotor in. One is rust, right? And the other is the brake shoes. Try it real quick. Let's see if I get lucky. So what I'll have to do is back off the brake shoes. Okay, so the brake shoe adjuster, right back here. All right, right behind it. Take this off. So, and if you have a brake spoon, that works best for tightening and loosening it. Screwdriver can work in a pinch too. Hey, 
There we go. All right, so brake spring hardware coming off next. Then on the other side we have another one. And it's off. Here's the adjuster that I was uh, loosening up all ago and you can see how it works. Uh, the brake spoon just goes through here and hits this and loosens it. And that's pretty much how it goes back on. Um, just wanted to capture this. So now I'm going to clean it all off with some brake cleaner. Cool. New clips, adjusters, everything. All right, so. around here there As you see right here, it says driver rear side. That's what I'm doing. You see that slit on there pretty easy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tighten up the, uh, the emergency brake uh, so it gets snug. Thank you. 
And of course, don't forget to put this back on. I'm going to wait uh, and see if I need to adjust the brakes anymore before I do that. Okay. And on the log nut itself, it shows a torque rating uh, right here, which is 100 foot pounds. Hopefully, you can see that. the other side. Okay, if all went well with the uh, C-clamp method of collapsing the brakes, I will hopefully not have to bleed them. If I do have to bleed them, then you start from the one furthest away from the master cylinder and work your way forwards. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And, and let me check the emergency brake and see if it holds. Push it down. Mercy Park's good, so I got it right. All right, well, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please select like down there and subscribe to my channel. If you didn't like it, well, subscribe to the channel. Maybe you like the next one. Thank you for watching. And, of course, don't forget to put the dust cap back in. There's the hole. There we go.